Hello everyone, it's Shari. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean the chinchilla cage. So I was supposed to do this video a couple years ago. I've had these guys forever. So I have Charmin and Apollo in the same cage together now. They used to be in separate cages. I have setting up a chinchilla cage video on my channel. If you want to check that out, how I set up Apollo's cage. But since I moved, um, I decided to condense and add the chinchillas together. They've been getting along pretty well. They've been together for almost a full year now. The only thing I have noticed is they do get into like little, little fights and they pull each other's hair out like the, the first slips but they're not too bad and they don't fight too often so they're pretty good for the most part they love to cuddle together which you can kind of see let me move my chair and everything you can kind of see right now move the camera closer oh my god i spilled I spilled my drink here we go there they are down there cuddling being so cute. Here they are. Look. Let me zoom in. There they are. My two little fluff balls cuddling together. So 90% of the time, like I said, they cuddle like this. But there are some times where they get into little fights, which they don't injure each other, so it's alright. So there they are, super cute. And I'll just show you guys what the cage looks like right now. So, I like to clean around the cage. Basically, like every three days, I sweep around the cage. You can see there's some stuff accumulating down there. And the cage has a lot of poop. A little bit of urine right there. Which, I only clean that about once every uh like two weeks or so i usually get in there with like um some just some white vinegar and water solution it's like a two to one mostly water and i just wipe that up with a rag which i'm going to do in this video but for the most part i just once a week i sweep up all the poop and i change the bedding and then while I do that, I fill up their bowls with food and I fill up their water. And they're pretty good on that schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll show you. Ugh. I am not good with the camera work, sorry. So the basics that you might need is one of these little brooms. I like to use Aspen bedding only because I feel like it's the best type of wood it has the best smell absorbs the best and um it's the most natural i don't like to use the paper bedding because i've read that some of them like to eat it and it gets stuck in their intestines and all that so i don't recommend that i just recommend using like a natural wood you could use soft wood too i've used that before it works great it's just not as absorbent as this one and i feel like it flies everywhere too easily so i use aspen and yeah we can go ahead and get started. I think that's all the supplies you need. You need a rag, a spray bottle, the little broom, the bedding, of course, and obviously you're gonna feed them and everything. And I also give them a dust bath once a week, usually before I clean their cage. That way I can make sure their cage is super clean. Let me go get the rag. <laughs> so I just got my rag and my spray bottle. Um, it's two to one, so two parts water, one part vine white distilled vinegar. So what I do first, so I go in, let me bring the camera closer so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I just go in and I'll just sweep up the shelves. And I just knock it all to the floor and the lower level of the cage because I'm going to be cleaning that last. And I'll clean out the hammock too, just by shaking it out. 
maybe like once a month I'll actually go and wash this. So I just sweep everything to the bottom level. And I'll be back once that's done to show you how to clean that spot. So I just wanted to mention also when you're sweeping, you wanna move any items that you have in the cage. Like these chinchillers, I always move when I sweep. So make sure there's nothing underneath them. You can see all the dust. And some poop still there. So I just sweep it up. Make sure to move, like I said, move everything out of the way. And then I'll clean those off later after I'm done sweeping the cage. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the chinchillers. And I'm going to spray the vinegar solution on the rag. I don't like to split, spray inside the cage unless there's a lot of built up um, urine just because uh, I don't want the to make a mess all over the cage and have it really hard to clean. So you can see how clean that top shelf is now. Works really well, takes two seconds to do. Then I put the chinchillas back. And again, I'll take a little bit more solution, spray it onto the rag, and wipe those down as well. Just like that. And I'll do that for the whole cage. As you can see, it's a pretty large cage. So I'll do that for every single shelf. And then I'll come back and show you how I do the bedding. So now you can see all the shelves look super clean. They're all wiped down. Now I'm gonna move on to the bottom layer, which what I do here is I just take everything out, the toys, um, the little house, their food bowls, and then I just, and then I just um, take all the bedding out into a little garbage bag. And I do leave them in there while I change their bedding. Sometimes I let them out and play while I'm changing their cage. If I have someone to watch them, because I like to get into things. <laughs> so when I don't have anyone to watch them, I um, just leave them in there. Make sure not to let them out. And yeah, it's pretty easy. They listen very well. They are pretty good. <laughs> they don't try to escape for the most part. Sometimes they do, but I just put them back in there and they're good to go. Like Apollo's been trying to get out, so. Yeah, I just take everything out. This needs to be washed. That's their little stuffy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so any toys or uh, sticks or anything like this, the sticks I will put in this little green thing as long as they are not peed on. If they're peed on, then I'll just throw them away. So I just go ahead and pick out all their little toys and put them up here. That way I can keep them separated from all of they're dirty stuff that way I can easily just scoop it with this and I take out their bowls which I need a top up on their food so what I do is I just put a good amount of food in their bowls maybe like once or twice a week and I just let them eat um, 
they're not like overweight or anything so i think that works really well for me some people only give them like a little scoop every day but i don't want to do that because sometimes i might <laughs> I might forget so i make sure that they always have food available to them and they always have hay i feed them their hay every, like three times a week and i give them like a big handful which i'll show you once i'm done with this So yeah, just removing everything. You can see Apollo's trying to get out here. <laughs> Any toys that I find, I throw up here. For the most part, um, most of the time they literally just go up. I do this in the morning usually when they're sleeping so usually they're not this active when I'm cleaning they're usually going up to be left alone <laughs> so I'm gonna take this little scoop I got all the toys off of the ground and I'm just gonna scoop with the little dust pan into my garbage bag that I have here Scooping out all of the dirty bedding. It doesn't matter if you get it on the floor because we're going to be sweeping up at the end. So once you got all the bedding uh, removed, uh, you just want to do a little wipe down with the rag again and the vinegar solution. And I use Aspen bedding and I just fill it in a couple handfuls until you got a whole floor full of bedding. And you see at this part the chinchillas know that I'm gonna be throwing bedding in so that they go up on the top levels. They will jump down occasionally to check out what I'm doing. But for the most part, they know to stay out of the way. You can see little Charmin's head. I don't know if you can see him actually. Charmin. He's right over here. Yeah, no, you can't see him. I'm trying to get him in the camera. You might be able to see him. There he is. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll just check out down here while I'm putting the bedding in. And I think that's a good amount of bedding. The whole bottom is covered. As you can see. So yeah, that's how you clean a chinchilla cage. I am going to put their house back. I'm gonna put their little stuffy back in. <laughs> um, all their toys are on the second shelf here, so I'll just leave them there and let them play with them. I put the sticks back here. They'll be out of there by the end of the night, I'm sure. And I'm just gonna give them some fresh food. So the food that I'm gonna be giving them, Expo Essentials for chinchillas. a little bowl fill like that and I put it right next to their water and then I just put in I used to put the hay in the hay bale but I found that it was super messy and they would just take it out like overnight so really no sense in doing that which I'm just trying to get out right now <laughs> so I just give them a nice little handful of hay right next to their food bowls I don't know if you can even see that right there. And they are a little bit picky because I was feeding them, um, what is it called? Oh my god, I forgot. But it has like the little treat pieces in it, like sunflower seeds and like little dried papayas and stuff in it. But they got used to that food and now they're a little bit picky with their 
uh, pellets, but they will eat them when they're hungry. Watch out, babies. Now I'm just putting their little wood chew things back in there. And there we go. Nice, clean chinchilla cage. So now what I have left to do is to just sweep around their cage. The inside is all clean. All the shelves were wiped down. And the bedding was changed. They got fresh food, some hay, some fresh water. You can see there's a fur slip on Apollo's side. But yeah, so I've also tried this uh, the disc wheels, but they really don't like them. They only like like the regular um, like circular wheels. Let me show you. Like those. They really love them. They run on them all night. Um, these disc ones, they just don't don't like. They don't know how to use them. I've had them for years. So. Yeah, I don't know why. They just don't like the the disc shaped ones. They prefer the regular conventional wheels. So yeah, now all I have to do left, um, all I have left to do is to sweep around their cage, which I will do, and then I vacuum around their cage. So I'm gonna sweep. Also, when you're doing this, you're gonna get covered in chinchilla hair and chinchilla bedding. So I just basically sweep everything um, to the corner. And then I will go in with a vacuum at the end and make sure everything was picked up. But I sweep up all the big, big wood chunks first, obviously. Make sure to get all the way under the cage. And I'll be back when I vacuum. You can see I swept most of it up, now I'm just going to hit it with the vacuum. they don't mind the vacuum they're pretty used to it by now because I do this every single week and I vacuum almost every single day so they're pretty used to the vacuum so here is the finished cage you can see they're enjoying themselves they basically go straight for the food after I <laughs> I clean up just because they love when they have fresh food and there's Apollo so yeah, that's how to clean a chinchilla cage. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped and I hope you guys uh, subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.